Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Better shake your booties for black girl nerves. Uh, nice to meet you, gentlemen. I'm Giandra from Black Girl Nerds. A uh, pleasure to be with you today. Um, beginning you. with uh, this is episode 354 is very fascinating because now we're starting to see and the aspirational story closely mirror life as it is now. And beginning with you, Hank, how do you begin to map out an episode like this? Do you start with regulations? Do you start with the story arc? How do you plan for an episode like this compared to say some of the others? You know, when we looked at the whole season, we thought we wanted to divide it to two parts. The first part being about when Aaron gets out of prison and what kinds of cases does he take as he finds his footing. And then the second half of the season, you know, we wanted to address, you know, it's pre-COVID and post-COVID. So COVID in the beginning of COVID and then what happened after COVID in the summer with the murder of George Floyd, um, the BLM um, protests and, and, and everything that happened in the country. Um, and, you know, we just, you know, ideas for episodes themselves come from many places, but we just, we thought we want to have Aaron go back to prison and, and discover what's happening there um, with the prisoners at the beginning of COVID when everything was so mysterious to all of us. And we thought, you know, it was like dog years, right? <laughs> so March feels like about 10 years ago, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> For most of us. So um, we thought it'd be interesting to kind of conceive a story, just looking back at late March and early April, and remembering what people were doing, you know, we're wiping down our groceries and people didn't even know that masks were really that useful yet. And, 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 and having everything was so shrouded in mystery and fear and, and so to have Aaron go back into that scenario and then go fight for his brothers, you know, his friends, the guys that he left behind, we just knew that would be a compelling piece of drama. And, you know, we had a sort of a happy uh, accident with Indira, who's, you know, British and has, you know, family in London where she just, you know, she said she couldn't with the back and forth, she couldn't commit she, she could only commit to us for a certain amount of time in the season. And it ended up working out. We thought, you know what, Aaron will get out. He'll go on with his own life for a few episodes while Indira, you know, is with her daughter in London. And then we can bring her back very organically into the story after being gone for a while uh, to team up with Aaron uh, to liberate the prisoners um, and, and get these prisoner releases and figure out what's happening in the prison. And, and it was a great way to shine a light on, um, what's happening in the real, in the real prisons and how um, barbaric the situation was, how they, they were not being taken care of. Um, and, you know, sometimes it just happens uh, naturally that uh, the story idea, you know, comes from, from, from real life, but meshes so well already with what the character is and, and the DNA of the show is. And that was the case with this. And then, you know, in the episodes going forward in, in the rest of the season, I don't know if you've seen, have you seen yet uh, the next two episodes or no? No, I wanted to stay fresh with this one. So we start to deal with uh, the aftermath of, of the murder of George Floyd and, and the protests are happening. And, and then Aaron gets engaged, um, you know, in, in the shooting of, of an unarmed black man by police. And then he really gets embroiled in that and gets brought into, um, gets brought into what's happening in the time. And he's confronted with that as a character. And then we, as the creators of the show, get to explore the issue. Isaac, from, from your point of view, when, when illness enters into a prison, even the common flu can be very devastating because of the close quarters, because of the people and how people are housed and, and cleanliness and those types of things. What, what are your thoughts on how 354 addresses that and shining the light on a segment of the population that we've largely overlooked during this whole process. I think the word shining the light is, is, is the, the most important thing. I mean, as, as an attorney, you know, I, I get to go inside the, the jails now. Um, obviously I'm separated. I'm in a room uh, with a video camera and I can only talk to them through video feed. Uh, but I, I get wind uh, of the, of the devastation 
the medical devastation and the clinical devastation that's occurring in the in the jails. Uh, I'm involved in a lawsuit right now um, uh, related to COVID. Uh, uh, not only does it not only does it decimate um, the, the the prison system as it relates to the inmates, uh, and for a variety of reasons, uh, in some of which you said the ventilation issues, the close close proximity, uh, medical care is 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 lacking. Um, you know, a lot of times they have to send, if, the, if it gets bad, they have to send the inmates out to a hospital, but the, the hospitals are full. So what's going to happen? They'll roll them in a, in a corner in the clinic and they die there a lot of times. And so, you know, the, the fact that the show is now exploring that uh, at the same time that I'm experiencing it, you know, as an attorney, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's not only an, an incredible moment for me, an exciting moment for me so that people can see what I'm seeing, uh, you know the the feeling is 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 you know when you when you when that that ball goes through the hoop at the buzzer and you go yes, you know that that's that feeling that it's it's that it's that yes feeling. Now everybody's going to see what I'm seeing every single day, and hopefully, you know that what I'm doing, I'm going to have the strength of the people behind me doing it. Absolutely. Well, thank you, gentlemen, so much for your time. Very compelling. And it was very it evoked a lot of feelings in me, because like you said, um, Hank, March seems like so, so, so long ago. And we've kind of moved into this new normalcy. So it was it was it was eye opening to bring it back to what it was like in those mo early moments. And thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you. Shake your booties for black girl nerds.